the news has been very quietly mentioning something called white lung. Now, it hasn't quite made it way out into the mainstream, and it's not at pandemic or epidemic levels inside of U.S. society, although there, there are traces of it. Now, while the media isn't giving it that much attention, it is important to note what it is, what it isn't, and where to get reliable information on it. White lung, named after the white patches it leaves on lungs in x-rays, is a kind of pneumonia. Really, it's a bacteria called mygoplasma pneumonia, and it results in typically mild respiratory infections, though the illness can progress into a serious lung infection that calls for hospitalization, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. White lung syndrome symptoms differ based on the cause, but common signs include shortness of breath, coughing, chest pain, fever, and fatigue. Now, mycoplasma pneumonia has had outbreaks in Ohio, Massachusetts, China, and Denmark, and these are the primary places where it's currently infecting people. The Warren County Health District in Ohio released a statement Thursday indicating a pneumonia outbreak that began in August has affected at least 145 children between the ages of 3 and 14. It appears that children are much more affected by the bacteria than adults are. So it's very important to say, this is not a virus. This is a bacteria that can cause lung infections. If the lung infection gets bad enough, you can develop white lung. So just getting the actual bacteria isn't enough to actually get the white lung disease. Now, it's important to note that there is no important outbreak of it in the United States. It's not a major problem in the United States, but it is a major problem in Denmark. And it is quite serious in Denmark. Researchers from Denmark's Stetson Serum Institute have stated that mycoplasma pneumonia infections have reached epidemic status in the country. The spike began during the summer, but quickly increased over the past five weeks. Over 540 cases were reported last week, triple the number of cases reported in mid-October. Another problem place is China. The World Health Organization says that China has reported an increase in respiratory illnesses since mid-October. China claims that this is due to the lifting of COVID restrictions and said it was linked to known illnesses like COVID, RSV, the flu, and mycoplasma pneumonia. Now, this is the gist of the illness that is going around, and it's not serious yet, which is why the mainstream media isn't particularly hyping it at this time. Now, I do recommend that you go out and get information on it to prepare yourself. And one of the most important things you can do is obviously to wash your hands and, you know, wash your food before you eat it, you know, before putting anything in your mouth, etc. These are really just basic hygiene rules, which is probably why children are getting it more than anyone else. But regardless, it's very important to get real information on this illness to make sure you really do actually have the facts. So if one of your primary sources for medical information is a blog or a YouTube channel with the word natural in the title, you're probably getting incorrect information. I would suggest talking to actual doctors, actual clinicians, actual medical professionals in order to get more information on what could be a problem, but is not a problem right now. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.